Hello and welcome to FHS's English Digital Class for Standard 7. This is your English teacher Swarnali Roy and today we are going to start yet another class on writing skill. The topic that we are going to study in depth is letter writing which is formal. Before starting, let us understand what is a letter. A letter is a written message that can be handwritten or printed on paper. It is usually sent to the recipient via mail in an envelope, although it is not a requirement. Any such message that is transferred via post is a letter, a written conversation between two parties, that is, the sender and the recipient. Letters are basically of two types. These are informal letters and formal letters. Informal letters have an easygoing conversational style. These letters include letters to parents, relatives, friends, etc. And formal letters are written for business purposes or it is inclusive of applications, letters to editors, etc. These are very objective in style. While writing formal letters, one should ensure that it is not too long. These letters are supposed to be short and to the point. Today we'll be focusing on formal letters, especially the applications to school. Let's now go through some tips to write a formal letter for school. Some of the key points that we are to remember while writing formal letters are we should not use flowery language that is ornamental language or big words. We should not also use abbreviations and the letters must be to the point and direct. We should always include the subject of the letter and formal letter format must be always followed. The formal letter format for school is as follows. First, the sender's details or address. It should be displayed on top of the page, followed by the date on which the letter is written. Then comes the receiver's address or details. It should be mentioned to whom the letter has been addressed, that is, the principal, the class teacher or any other subject teacher. After that, the most important is inclusion of the subject of the letter. This should be as precise as possible. Followed by salutation, which is the greeting. Try not to make the greeting too personal and avoid using dear for formal letters. After this comes the body of the letter. It should be divided into three paragraphs. The first paragraph should be used for introduction of the writer and the purpose of writing this letter. The second paragraph should be used to explain the reason in detail. And third paragraph is the conclusion of the letter. This section must say what you are expecting or the solution. Then comes the complimentary closing that is yours sincerely, yours faithfully, yours obediently, etc. After that comes your name followed by your signature or designation if it is given in the question. Here's a sample application for your better understanding.
the question that we are dealing here is write an application for a week's leave to the principal of your school as you are unable to attend school because of viral fever now pay attention to the question here the question directly mentions that you have to ask a leave for a week and also it is addressed to the principal of your school if any other school's name was given in the question the letter must be addressed to the same school and even the reason is mentioned in the question so you have to only use viral fever as your reason observe the letter carefully on your screens first there is the sender's address then a space is left then you have to write the date followed by a space again after that recipient's address again leave one line after that subject leave one line salutation leave one line followed by three paragraphs the first one should include introduction and the purpose of your writing of letter second one should explain the reason third one is the conclusion after that leave one line thanking you or thanking you in anticipation leave one line then yours obediently your name class and then designation if it is mentioned in the question thank you stay at home and stay safe everyone